Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry and guys, it's the week of Christmas. I hope everyone's doing well. We have probably one of the beefiest ready or not dev updates that I think we've ever seen, including like a Q&A that covers PvE, AI, audio, and more. And we're going to get into all of the important stuff. If you guys enjoy these videos, please consider leaving a like on them and subscribing if you haven't done so. First things first, right off the bat, what's the status of PvE? They say this is a big question, it's an important one, absolutely. And they say it's by far one that we get asked the most. So they're dividing it into a couple different things. First off, why is it taking so long? They say simply put, we're creating a lot of elements of the PvE experience from the ground up. We have to build new systems and reestablish existing content and levels based on past PvE feedback. They say in addition to that, they've been working on uh, existing narrative designs and fleshing them out for integration into the game. Adding new features and working on the AI takes a substantial amount of time with such a small team, which we are currently working on expanding further. They said when they saw the feedback of the last PvE build, they had a hard choice. Keep updating something that we didn't feel was working or take the time to build the system and make the content that our supporters deserve. Now, I wish when they'd say systems and, you know, content and, and stuff, you know what I mean? I want to see like what it is that they're actually talking about. They go into the AI uh, in, in the next little paragraph here, but I wish that they would expand, hell, even more on that. I, I know this is like a simple like digestible newsletter, but I would love to see a conversation happen where we, we know like what that feedback was because I myself really enjoyed like the first couple of like alpha builds for the PVE version. I thought it was way better than what we got in the alpha for like the PVP, but I don't know what's changing now. I would love to like be able to like stay in the loop considering I was a tester for that. Now, maybe that's something that's on a discord or whatever. I'm somebody who's in like a hundred different discords, so I might've missed something, but that information would be really dope to see in uh, an example like this. In terms of like how long it's taking, like I'm at the point now, I just don't care. I don't care how long it takes. Go and do it. Keep us in a loop with what's going on, but like, I, like I just want a good fucking game at the end of the day. That's why I was one of the ones just clamoring for a delay on that beta because I felt like if they put a beta label on it, they were going to get fucking destroyed by the gaming community. And I mean, they did anyway during the PvP event, but take as long as you want. Figure it out, and when it comes out, we get a good game. Now, I'm not saying go the Star Citizen route where it takes forever, and like, the, but that scope is obviously way yeah, insane. This is a little bit more manageable, I think. They, they go on to say, what's so special about the AI? They say, the AI system is a massive undertaking meant to replace the default UE4 AI. That was one of the biggest complaints I had about the PvE. I know everything's under NDA, but that's my, that's my motherfucking opinion. Um, it needed to be fixed, so I'm glad that they're actually, uh, you know, taking the time to do it. They say their initial AI system wasn't working. It was too basic. It wasn't going to get where we wanted to go. I'm glad that they're focusing a lot on that because that's something that needs to be good in a game like this, considering everybody's excitement for PvE basically rests on that AI system to, to bring that experience to life. They say their current system is a huge project, but we think what our supporters deserve to have. They're implementing objects into the world that AI can use, and the AI can like determine how and when they want to use these objects to their advantage, which I think is pretty fucking sweet. They said they're still tweaking things internally, but the goal is to make the AI feel smart, immersive, and fun to play against. We want an engaging, unique experience with each level, and to encourage replayability and variety based on how the player and AI can interact with one another. Beautiful. That's awesome. That's, I mean, it, to, to be honest, I think that was like what we expected out of this. So I'm glad that they're taking the feedback and, and going that route. And I totally understand why they, they want to build it further. Great. Great. There's a video that they actually linked, which this is like perfect for a newsletter like this. And it shows the AI developments, door stack up points, cover generation, awareness actors will bring life into Ready or Not's new AI system. So you guys are seeing the video here. There's so many different points on this map for interaction here. And I am loving, loving 
what I'm seeing here. In this clip, the AI is using like trace lines to basically like look at where uh, uh, like a sound origination came from and then change their logic based on how they want to interact towards that sound, which is very cool to see in real time. Obviously, there's some issues and that's fine. They say they're working on refining this stuff obviously further and it's still in fucking alpha. And it's looking pretty good. The guy's walking around. He has a world activity that he's doing. And they says, like, once he finishes it, he sees, like, oh, there's a door open. There's a sound. And basically how they interact with the ever-changing environment from, from the player's perspective. I love what I'm seeing. And I'm excited to see where they take this. The elephant in the room and what was a cause for a lot of problems with the delay in the beta. Um, the communication there was really, really bad. They just updated the dates on their website without really telling anybody. Um, they say the me behind the delay is a culmination of circumstance. We don't want to show any work in development too early before we have a realized vision that functionally works. We won't tolerate handing over broken gameplay to supporters just to fulfill expectations. Y'all hear that clapping? It's also me jerking off at how good that statement is. This is incredible. That's what we need from a development studio like this. I am so done with PvP events. I'm done with all of this until the game comes out. I'll keep you guys up to date with these updates because I think it's a lot easier to just have a discussion and, you know, we, we can make content out of it. But I really just want this game to be fucking good. And it looks like they're taking all of the feedback to heart. They say, to use an analogy, we got the foundations of the house made, we've got the frame up, but we're not ready to move anyone in yet. The walls, floor, ceilings are still being put in. Totally, 100% agree. Based on feedback we've received, we're remaking entire levels from scratch. Everything accessible in the co-op branch right now is completely revamped and different to what we're working on internally. They say there's been major strides and improvements in many different areas. In other words, the game feels much better to play. We even enjoy it ourselves internally, which is a good sign. I want to know, I want to know like specifically what changes there were. Like they say, they only have two full-time programmers split across elements of like the UI, AI, and gameplay. That's a lot of work for, for you know, two full-time programmers. Uh, like that's a lot. But like what has shifted in the last say six months that makes you guys feel like it's in a really good spot. I just want to know what that is. Get a little bit more specific with it just because I'm anxious to know where we're at with it. But for now, I'm glad to see that it's coming along. They say gas has been expanded. It's no longer just the station. Um, now, we've seen a little bit of gameplay on gas before. It's the gas station and like the... The, the convenience store and all of that. Um, they say the surrounding area uh, and nearby buildings have been added. Port has been completely reconfigured. Every level has been rebuilt and expanded. Um, and again, they don't want to showcase that stuff until it's done or until it's like further along in development. And I get that, but I would definitely love to, to pick their brains and figure out like what are the significant gameplay changes. They say that it's much better to play. It feels much better what has changed. That's where I'm at. And they end the email. In conclusion, this is a process that takes time. We understand the anxiety that comes with how long you've waited, but we want to make it right. And I'm, I'm a hundred percent on board for this. We all saw what just happened with Cyberpunk, right? The game came out, AAA developer. Shit was absolutely broken on last gen consoles to the point where Sony literally pulled the game off the store in an unprecedented move. We all saw it. I am so fucking sick and tired of playing broken products. I've been that way for years. This is the reason this channel exists. Yes, we have fun talking shit about games that are never, ever going to see the light of day, but I don't think Ready or Not should be placed in that cesspool. Ready or Not, when they showed off the PvP event, if we're going to talk about it, we're going to talk about it. If things are out there, but here's the thing, if you continue working on it and if you continue showing progress and showing that you're taking the feedback and learning from it and crafting a beautiful fucking experience for us in the future, take as much time as you want. But here's the thing, man, you have people that are bitching and complaining and refunding the goddamn game, chargebacks and all, because the game got delayed. But It's like you can't win as a developer in 2020 gaming. You can't fucking do it because you have half half your player base wants the game now regardless. And then when you give it to them, they bitch about the bugs. 
it has to be one or the other and i'm glad they're taking this stance instead of just giving it to us as fast as possible to appease the five percent that are complaining the loudest fuck those people refund it charge back and fuck off and, and i'm being completely serious about it early access alphas in development aren't games for you go and stick to completed games even though you're gonna get the same kind of shit over there right it's it's all a circle time is a circle the gaming industry fucking sucks they say PVE requires many complex fundamental systems that takes years to build. We've been tasked to complete that in half the time. I'll say this, that sentence kind of rubs me the wrong way because to be honest with y'all, like you set the deadlines for yourselves and you didn't meet them, which is fine. But like, don't say like, oh, we, we have to do it in half the time. No, you don't. You didn't have to do it. Look at Star Citizen. They're, they're making millions of fucking dollars every month. People are still buying into it. And, and, and they're still developing it and they're still able to keep the, the lights on and the doors open. The biggest concern I have with taking your time is if you're going to run out of money. You guys don't have the funding model that Star Citizen has. Nobody has the funding model that Star Citizen has. And the game is not as big in scope, but like you guys only have two programmers. You're running out on basically a skeleton crew of development. What's going to happen in a year two year three years time i really hope that this game comes to fruition I'm at, I'm at a hopeful stage here i don't want the game right now because the game isn't in a state where i would put more than a couple of hours in and then i would shelve it until it's done so what's the difference but i think the most important thing here is when can we expect the next update they say well we can't give an exact time frame we can say the next major update for the alpha will be the return of pve beautiful 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 we appreciate how incredibly patient the community has been with the wait and we're excited to see it in your hands and then they go in and talk about other questions that the community's had about like fixing clunky animations and gun sounds and other shit that like at this point i don't think matters because if, if i'm being completely honest some of the animations look pretty good the, the firing animations like it, it it doesn't look the worst i thought the gun sound sounded all right like i'm not like it is what it is it'll get fixed in time i'm not concerned about it i just want to make sure that this game gets into a state where you know it's actually worth fucking playing and all of that other stuff can come later um they say what's going on with communications is there a new community manager and yeah um I, i'm gonna butcher the name uh guinevere Gin i think it's Gine guinevere or guinevere uh, he says he's Void's new community manager. You'll be hearing from me a lot as I get settled in and work on responding to as much feedback as I possibly can. Welcome to the madhouse. Uh, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> this community, uh, we tell it like it is. We will say what the fuck we think and we'll tell you about your dog too. It just, it, it is what it is. Look, we're getting close to the end of the year. This was a nice, I think like 2020 wrap up for this game. I'm very excited for what's gonna come in the future. I find that like my most anticipated games list, which is something I usually do at the end of every year leading into the next, a lot of it is games like this. There's not a lot new on the horizon that I'm looking forward to, but, but seeing future progress for games like this dead matter world war three all the games that we've been covering for years that have just been in alpha abysmal states i want to see what 2021 brings for all of these games i'm super fucking excited for it my name is big fry thank you guys for watching leave a comment down below are you guys still fucking with ready or not what do you think of the update and are you guys still following the game are you excited for a co-op PvE SWAT style game. I feel like I know my audience. I feel like you guys are ready to go. And listen, it's it's Christmas week. This is gonna be a little bit weird for streams this week, but I appreciate everybody who's clicking on the videos, watching. I know this time of year, I, I, th th this year specifically, it's been a crazy one. If you guys are spending time with family, awesome. If you guys aren't able to spend time with family because of COVID restrictions and shit like that, just know, even though I don't know you personally, I'm thinking about all of you guys. Uh, I, I really, this this year has been crazy for me as well. Um, but just know that you guys, even though I might not know who you are, uh, y'all are in my thoughts and I hope you guys can at least have uh, a good holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you guys celebrate. I get lost a lot of the, like the craziness of all the numbers that are coming in. We're, we're getting crazy views. We're actually seeing like our videos and recommended 
and uh, a lot of new people are, are putting eyes on the channel. If you guys are here and you're subscribed and you're watching the videos, just know you are a part of this community. We do have a Discord if you guys are maybe feeling a little lonely on Christmas and you want to like just chill and be in the company of other like-minded gamers. Uh, the Discord link is down in the description. Appreciate y'all. Hope you have a good day, week, month, year. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.